This is the weekly BS News. Welcome. This week we'll be discussing the 84th Academy Awards. This year's we have two big names with each more than 10 nominations. But before we bring out these two, let's have a look at the movies with five nominees or more. First off, with both five nominations, we have The Descendants in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. The Descendants is a comedy drama starring George Clooney as Matt King, a lawyer and land baron who tries to reconnect with his two daughters after his wife suffers a boating accident. This brings out a whole new side of George Clooney, as we've never seen him before. Who is he? The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is a drama mystery starring Daniel Craig as journalist Mikhail Blomqvist. Mikhail is aided in his search for a woman who has been missing for 40 years by Elizabeth Salander, a young computer hacker who is played by Rooney Mara. She's one of the best investigators I have. But she's different. In what way? In every way. Something wrong with the report? Anything you chose not to disclose. He's clean, in my opinion. He's honest. Our credibility isn't dead yet. Mine is. He's had a long-standing sexual relationship with his co-editor of the magazine. Sometimes he pleasures her. Not often enough, in my opinion. No, you're right not to include that. I need your help. You come stay on the island. A way of avoiding all those people you might want to avoid right now. You will be investigating thieves, misers. Secondly, with both six nominations, both Moneyball and War Horse take the third position. Moneyball is a drama sports movie, starring Brad Pitt as Oakland Day's general manager Billy Bins. The movie is the story of his successful attempt to put together a baseball club on a budget by employing computer-generated analysis to draft his players. Your goal shouldn't be to buy players, your goal should be to buy wins. And in order to buy wins, you need to buy runs. Who are you? I'm Peter Brand. First job in baseball? It's my first job anywhere. We're gonna shake things up. Why don't you walk me through the board? I believe there's a championship team that we could afford because everyone else undervalues them, like an island of misfit toys. We want you at first base. I've only ever played catcher. It's not that hard, Scott. Tell him, watch. It's incredibly hard. He can't throw. But what can he do? You want me to speak? When I point you again. He gets on base. We are card counters at the blackjack table. We're going to turn the odds on the casino. I'm heading in. Text me to play by play. Wait, what? I don't watch the games. War Horse is a historical war movie directed by Steven Spielberg himself. The movie centers around young Albert who wants to enlist to service in World War I after his beloved horse, Joey, is sold to the cavalry. Albert's hopeful journey takes him out of England and across Europe as the war rages on. Can you imagine flying over a war? And you know you can never look down. You have to look forward or you'll never get home. Thirdly, on the second position with 10 Academy nominations, we have The Artist. The Artist is a French comedy drama which revives the classic silent black and white movie. The movie itself is about a silent movie star George Valentine who wonders if the arrival of talking pictures will cause him to fade into oblivion. But then he, he meets Peppy Miller, a young dancer who is set for a big break.
with 11 nominations, probably already the winner of this year's Academy Awards, we have Hugo. Hugo is a 3D adventure drama film based on Brian Selznick's novel. The story centers around Hugo, a boy who lives alone in the Paris railway station and owner of a toy shop there. Soon he gets wrapped up in a mystery involving his late father and an automaton. The movie is animated, but the picture is so clear that any difference with the real world is hard to notice. What's your name, boy? Hugo. Hugo Cabray. A memory from his past. Who built him? I would think a magician. The most complicated one I've ever seen. Can we fix him? Of course we can fix him. <laughs> a mysterious connection. Hey! Where did you get this? I need it to fix something. This is marvelous. A secret. What is that? I think it's a message from my father. Why would my key fit into your father's machine? To finding his way home. This is a treacherous place. Do you understand? Watch your step. So we could get into trouble. That's how you know it's an adventure. You've tried to forget the past for so long. Maybe it's time to try and remember. The story's not over yet. This Thanksgiving, Academy Award-winning director Martin Scorsese invites you on an incredible journey. Stop that child! Everything! Once upon a time, I met a boy named Hugo Cabray. He searched to find a secret message. I need to know what this means. And how that message lit his way. Hugo! All the way home. Thanks for watching BS Weekly News. See you next week.